morning, you guys. It is day two of our 15-day vlogging challenge. Today, we're exploring one of the most important markets here in Colombia. So we're here at the largest market in Colombia. It is called Mercado de Palacmao. It has over 1,200 stalls, and we're gonna go try some fruit. So Colombia is definitely known for its fruit, and it's because of its location. It's located right on the equator, making it an ideal climate for some of the freshest, most exotic, and tastiest fruits in the world. So this is our tour guide for the day, our fruit expert, Victor. He runs an amazing tour here in Bogota, Colombia. So if you come, make sure you check out the Plaza de Palacamao with Victor. Say Thank hello. You. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Today we're going to be trying a lot of different fruits. We're going to try some of my favorites. I don't want to spoil you, so <laughs> let's let's just go ahead and and start and I'll let you know which ones we have available today that you get to try. Okay. So I always love to start the experience in this particular stall. This is connected to one of the routes that we as Colombians have. As Colombians, we have three main routes. We have the European routes, we have the African routes, and we have the indigenous routes. So this is connected to our indigenous routes, to the shamanism, the connection with Mother Earth, with Pachamama, as many indigenous call it here in Colombia. So this is the mountain papaya. It is so much smaller and cuter than the normal papayas that we're used to seeing and eating. This papaya needs to be cooked before eating because it can like burn your lips and leave a little bit of redness. But yeah, interesting. That's something that is going to help you out with sore throat, phlegm, catarrh, flu. We have in here a couple of interesting fruits. I'm sure that you're familiar with both of them. I think I know. Do you know? This I'm not. Pomegranate. This is a tiny pomegranate. And this is a cashew. There you go. This is a cashew is apple. Really? So every <laughs> single cashew apple grows from one of these fruits. Yeah. This is a fruit that is indigenous to the Amazon region. Okay. It was taken to several parts of the world during the colony time. It became quite popular in India. Okay. Okay. I love all of the smells of the market with all of the fresh herbs. It's so delicious. We have some fresh coconut water here. I haven't had coconut water in so long, it's so good. It's a fruit that has a lot of electrolytes in it. Yeah, it's, it's delicious. something that we also get to use for medicinal purposes here in Colombia. It's really good for dehydration, really good for stomach issues, really good for hangover, for your kidneys. <laughs> Today we're trying around 25 to 30 different fruits. The recommendation is that you also pace yourselves. So when we're kiddos, we like to break this open in a very particular way. We like to smash it against our head to crack it open, just no like this. Like. Oh, and then you just go ahead and <laughs> pull this open and this oh. is how the fruit is gonna look in the inside. Wow. Next up, we're going to be trying three different types of passion fruit, and I love passion fruit so much. I think he said a yellow, a purple, and a banana passion fruit. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> this is the purple passion fruit. Personally love this fruit with some granola, some Greek yogurt. That's delicious. That would be really you good. You also make some fruit beer with this one. Banana passion fruit. Okay. It looks like a potato or like a, like a tiny lady finger banana. As soon as we cut it open, it's just gonna have the same structure as the rest of the fruits that we've yeah, been trying. Yeah. This one is gonna be extremely floral. It's like eating a flower. Really? Not a strong smell, but this one is going to taste more floral. And just the recommendation is to just swallow it and not chew it because the seeds are going to be softer. Much harder. Much harder. Oh, harder. I've been swallowing all of them, so. <laughs> I love the color of this one. Mm. It's a slightly tart, earthy. Yeah, earthy, bitter. tart, and bitter. Yeah, he, he hit all of the points. Yep. <laughs> yes. In the Mirtasias family, we have the family of the guavas. This one in here, it's known as the Brazilian guava or the pineapple guava. So this is how the fruit is gonna look in the inside. It has a very interesting smell. I smell mint. It's delicious though. It's kind of sweet, but... It's delicious. The closer that you get to the skin, the more sour that it gets. Mm -hmm. It has a lot of collagen, so you can also rub it on your oh, skin. Okay. <laughs> collagen. And we have a lot of chlorophyll in the skin, which mm -hmm. makes it really good for your blood. 
So we're gonna get to try in here the rambutan or rambutan. We have in here the mango stain, which is also known as the queen of the fruits. And we have in here what we call the sugar mango. It's also known as the baby mango. So we're gonna start with the rambutan. Rambutan means hairy in the indigenous language. Hairy. That makes sense. It's a hairy fruit. It's a beautiful one. Very photogenic. Some of you may know that Tommy and I met in Costa Rica. Tommy and I have actually had this fruit before in Costa Rica and we love it. We used to buy bags of it and go sit on the beach and eat them. And the seed is like a little almond right in the center. It's delicious. Now we're gonna get to try the, the sugar mango. So this is the easy part to eat. This is the challenging one with the pit. Who wants to go with see? I'll go with the pit. You wanna go challenging? Yeah, I'm getting fruit juice everywhere. <laughs> This is what people really want to see. That's, oh, here we go. That's how a local is. <laughs> Eat it. <laughs> I don't know what to do with it now. You can put the whole thing in your yeah, mouth. You got that? Mm. Wow, really? <laughs> oh my goodness. It's so good. <laughs> Why are you just taking it all down quick? Just... <laughs> oh, you're a weirdo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> We're fine, no worries. That was a fail. Okay, you're embarrassing me. <laughs> oh, you're embarrassing me. <laughs> okay, so we've been trying a lot of sweet fruits. So Victor just went to grab something sour for us to try before we try some of the sweeter fruits. So he said to switch back and forth. That way our palate is constantly changing and we can keep up with the flavors. Wow, that is so bizarre. It feels like it was baked. <laughs> it does. That's amazing. That is so good. That's my favorite so far. This is such an interesting like fruit. When you think of like trying something like you've never experienced before, this pretty much ticks all the boxes. So do you have a favorite Sammy at all of those? We tried so many, but I think my favorites were probably gonna be the mangosteen takes the top. For most interesting and most flavorful that I loved would definitely be the custard apple. That was and, my favorite. Yeah, it's so good. And then I love that really, really, really sour. The yellow passion fruit was really good. And the blueberries. A little bit tart, a little bit bitter, Much slightly smaller. sour. Oh yeah. It just explodes in your mouth, that sour thing. Okay, we're trying the cashew apple. He says this one's kind of a surprise. Wow, that is different. It's like nothing I've ever tried before. It completely dries out your mouth. I can hardly talk. It's like cotton mouth, but great flavors. It is really tasty. Can't talk anymore. <laughs> <laughs> As the smoothie is one of my favorite ones. If you ever have the chance to go to Brazil, to the north of Brazil, or if you have the chance to go to the Amazon region, make sure to try this in a smoothie. Delicious. To get the cashew nut, it's not just like breaking it open. You need to grill it. Grill really? it? If you just eat it like this, it's toxic. Oh. Wow. So you will need to get rid of this liquid, this little milk that it comes from this nut before it's edible. So this is sour sop. Or guanabana in Spanish. Guanabana. 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 Or the sour sop. I'm kind of a little bit nervous for this one. <laughs> Just pull it, the whole thing. There you go. Oh, wow. So easy. Mm. That's delicious. It is sweet and sour. Very interesting. For some reason, I thought it was going to be bitter. Not at all. Not, it's not at all. It's sweet and sour. Mm. It's like... Some people get some hints of pineapple. Pineapple. Strawberry sometimes. Yes, it is. Like pineapple and strawberry. Milky. Mm -hmm. Sounds perfect for you. It's so, <laughs> it's so delicious. I actually, I was a little timid to try this one because it looks so different from anything I've tried before, but it's delicious. So this is the wild Andean black dog. <laughs> More sour. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's so sour, but it's so good at the same time. I love the mean peanut. Very that tart. At the end. And bright, really. Mm. And minty at the end. It has a minty aftertaste. Oh wow, fresh. <laughs> Refreshing. Okay. So this one is a hybrid between a sugar apple and a cherry moya. Yeah? Okay. God, they're so big. Oh my grande. <laughs> this 
It's the biggest slice of avocado I have ever seen. It's like a whole meal in itself. Can you see the size for reference? Sweet, maybe it's nutty, earthy. Avocado is my favorite. <laughs> is it? Mm -hmm. It is a little bit sweet, a little bit nutty. Wow, look at that salt. <laughs> We're gonna try another bit only with the salt. <laughs> I need more. <laughs> Next is the Rampur lime. It's a hybrid between a lime and a mandarin. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Brought out the pepper. <laughs> okay. Mm. Just keeps and keeps getting better. Mm -hmm. It just keeps getting better and more elevated. Is that the best thing yet? Well, I don't want to take away from all the other amazing fruits we've tried, but this is so delicious. This is it in all of its glory. You make a cute pair, right? <laughs> This is a chukula made with cacao, so chocolate, peanuts, corn, fava beans, garbanzo beans. What else? Some cloves. Some cloves cinnamon. and cinnamon. And molasses. Ooh, and molasses. It smells so good. Okay, it's gonna be too hot. Mmm, wow. This is delicious. This tastes like Christmas in a cup. It really does. It tastes like a spicy hot it's chocolate. A, a spicy hot chocolate. It's very delicious. First time trying coffee. Super excited. <laughs> Colombia is known for their coffee. Let's try it. Mm. Wow. Very mild, acidic. It's so delicious. It lives up to all the hype. Oh, I'm so excited to be enjoying these for the next 14 days. So I asked them to make my coffee a little bit sweeter, so they actually added molasses, which is called jaggerine. It's the second biggest producer in the world of this. And they come in these huge big bricks. Check this out. He said when you burn your tongue, you should suck on the molasses. I don't do well with drinking like very hot beverages, so this is perfect for me. Wow, sugar cane paste formed into these bricks is not as sweet as you think it would be. Tomatoes, pumpkin squashes, tubers. Okay. In terms of flavor. Yeah. Colombia is number one exporter of flowers to the United States. We're number two in the world, just after the Netherlands. Same as coffee, we export the highest quality. The lower one stays in Colombia. So Colombia is mm. the number one exporter of flowers to, to, the, the, United States. to the United States. Colombia is very well known for roses, carnations, chrysanthemum. 1,400 species of flowers exported to over 100 different countries. Now the flower market did start at 4 a.m. this morning and it's definitely not 4 a.m. anymore. So we're going to go see what is left of the flower market. So we're also gonna get to see some packaging that is used for grocery stores in the United States. Sometimes we get to see some packaging for Trader Joe's, for Whole Foods, for Publix. Why it's just recycled. Wow, the smells in here are amazing. It's pretty busy. Such a huge selection of flowers through here. So you see like prices from the US, $8.99, but that's not how much these cost, it's just recycled paper. So how much are they here? Oh. Likely, I wouldn't pay more than two thousand, like two, fifty cents. Fifty cents for this bundle. It's quite a markup. Wow, well, come down here for the discount. I know. Victor said it's cheaper to be a romantic in Colombia. <laughs> was it? It was white lilies. White lilies. Oh my gosh, this is a, my wedding bouquet was white lilies, and actually yesterday was Tommy and I's four-year wedding anniversary. So cute. Wow, yeah, beautiful. I love it. Colombia is number one in diversity of orchids in the world. We're supposed to have around 5,200 different species of orchids, <laughs> and about 1,500 of them are endemic to Colombia. Wow. So only grown in Colombia and only found in Colombia. This is definitely a stall of a lot of unique fla flowers that I haven't seen before. Proteas from South Africa, this. tiny pineapples from Bromelias. 
The tiny pineapple! Did you see the tiny pineapple? They're like this big! Nowadays, many people are choosing Colombia as a wedding destination just because of the flowers. Oh, yeah. The amount of money that you spend on flowers. In, on flowers in the United States, you can easily get married twice here in Colombia. Wow. Once in Cartagena, another time in the Andes region. Yes! Banana. This is the cassava banana. It has nothing to do with cassava or banana. And it's gonna taste like a fruit that you're familiar with. Like oh! You can recognize that flavor. It looks like a cantaloupe. Oh. And it tastes like a cantaloupe. <laughs> like a very sweet cantaloupe. Yeah! Green onions. <laughs> wow. Now that, that's humongous. These are huge. I love cooking with green onions. I've never seen one this big. <laughs> this is the tree tomato. Wow, that's different. I don't know if I like this one. <laughs> So I gotta disagree with Sammy on the tree tomato. It was so good. It's kind of smoky and sweet. Wow, delicious. So funny how one person can dislike a fruit and the next person can really love it. This is the pink guava. It's a beautiful fruit. Wow, it's gorgeous. I'm pretty sure this is the prettiest fruit we've tried today. This is beautiful. It's not as sweet as it looks. <laughs> really good for jams. We put a lot of sugar in it. Really good for guava paste. Prickly pear or the cactus fruit. Segments of this fruit. Wow. It's gonna be very juicy. Wow, that prickly pear is so good. Tastes like a papaya, but that has a texture of a watermelon. Fresh Colombian orange juice. More like yellowish, greenish. Wow, it's tart. It's very tart. I love this. Okay. Stay safe. <laughs> Thank you, everything, man. You're so a pleasure. So knowledgeable. Man. Wow, what an amazing day two here in Colombia. Victor was so knowledgeable. Thank you again, man. If you guys decide to do this tour, we'd highly recommend it. Book it with Victor. We'll leave his link below. Thanks again for watching, you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> since we're already in the market for lunch and we're going to go ahead and stop and eat something. So we're here at this little taco place and we ordered five tacos with a variety of meats and toppings on them. <laughs> okay. okay, cochinita, uh -huh. carnita y pasto. Gracias. Gracias. First bite, these tortillas look absolutely amazing. I like how they double dose them too. Wow, so amazing. Excellent. These tortillas are so amazing and all the meat we've had has been so tender. I swear it's so fresh, but wow. These tacos, outstanding. This one is the taco out the store. We give it a go. I put some hot spicy sauce on it. Oh, and they loaded it up with diced fresh onion and there's like some fresh herb on top as well. That's incredible. So we didn't get enough fruit juice already today. We ordered a mica juice to go with our tacos. A little sweet to balance out the savory and the spicy. All the juice here has just been so incredible. 
those flavors just burst in your mouth. Wow, what an awesome day. Thank you so much again, Victor. He was such a great guide. And we will see you guys tomorrow for our coffee tour.